today we are going to start discussing the 2022-23 OL paper that was held recently. So we are going to go through part 1 of the business and accounting studies paper. In this video we will focus to the questions starting from question number 1 to question number 10. So let's get into the video. So firstly you have a case as usual for the first 5 questions. Let's go through the case. Nalin, an engineer, resides in the Rosvilla apartment after completing his doctoral studies. He conducts a domestic solar panel manufacturing and distribution business as Vijaya Solar Panel. The Sun Power Private Limited supplies raw materials for the production constantly. Supun helps for the manufacturing activities. The products are distributed through the chain of Tessiti Supermarkets which is owned by Ruan. Now when you get a case like this, I always recommend for you all to note down the details at least on the edge of it. So we know Nalin. Nalin is the owner. Nalin owns Vijaya Sola. He is the owner. Now Nalin lives in Ross, Ross Villa. Okay, that's just a side detail that they have given. Now, in this Vijaya Sola, you also have one person working, an employee who is Supun. So, this is like the internal arrangement of this particular company. We know an owner and we know an employee. So, to Vijaya, you have a supplier who is supplying the raw material which is called Sun Power. They are the suppliers. So, they are outside this particular company. And Vijaya Solar is distributing this to Tessiti Supermarket. They are the distributor. So, once you write this down, you have the entire case in a, uh, you know, in a uh, graphical or in a uh, nutshell onto your side. Now, referring this, you can answer your questions. So, the first question is, in the above case, Nalin has fulfilled his housing need from Vijaya Solar Panel Business, Tessiti Supermarket, Sun Power Private Limited, Ross Villa Lodge. So, we have Nalin over here. Nalin is residing in Rosvilla. So, his housing need, his need to be in a house or to live in a house is fulfilled by Rosvilla. Vijaya panel is his business. It's not giving him the housing requirement. Tessiti is actually his distributor of the company. Sun Power is a supplier. So, here for question number one. Answer is for Rosvilla Lodge. Question 2. Select the answer which includes only the external environmental factors of Vijaya Solar Panel Business. Now they want only the external environment, the external factors. I told you the internal factors were Nalin who lives in Rosvilla. Vijaya is his company, employee is Supun. So, Nalin and Supun fall into the internal environment. So, obviously, the external environment would be either Sun Power Supplier or Tessiti Supermarket. Having that in mind, let's see the answers. So, they have given Nalin and Tessiti Supermarket. So, no, Nalin is not an external factor. Ruam and Sun Power Private Limited. Now, Ruan is the owner of this Tessiti supermarket. So, yes, they also belong to the outer environment. So, this is possible. Supun and Tessiti supermarket. Now, Supun is the employee. So, again, Supun cannot be in the external environment. Fourth option again says Supun. So, that is also the wrong answer. The correct answer is answer 2. Ruan and Sun Power Private Limited. Question number 3. To the Vijaya Solar Panel Business, 
the chain of Tessiti supermarket is. Now they are asking whether this Tessiti supermarket is a strength, a weakness, an opportunity or it's a threat. Now for you to know whether it's a strength, weakness, opportunity or a threat, you need to know what falls into the internal and the external environment. Why? Because in the internal environment only you will find your strengths and your weakness. In the external environment you find your opportunities and your threats. Now, the city supermarket is in the external environment. It's that distributor. So, if it's that distributor, of course it should either be an opportunity or a threat. Now, for it to be a threat, they don't say that they are a competitor. It's a distributor. So, by having this supermarket, it becomes an opportunity for Vijay Sola to push their products to their target market. So, here Tessity supermarket is an opportunity. Answer 3. An example for the capital which is a production factor of Nalin's business is the building of Tessity supermarket. No, that's not belonging to Nalin's business so that can't be a capital factor. The building of Sun Power Private Limited Company. No, again that can't be why Sun Power Private Limited is their supplier. Apartment of Rosvilla. Now, apartment of Rosvilla belongs to Nali. The business Vijaya Sola Private Limited is a different entity. You could see here, Vijaya Sola panel is a different entity. So, the Rosvilla apartment is, doesn't come as a capital factor to them. The building of Vijaya Sola panel business. Yes. So, Correct answer will be the fourth one because the building in which the Vijay Solar Panel business is done, their building will be their capital factor. So, answer is four. Question number five, last question in this case. A reason for Sun Power Private Limited to be interested in Vijaya Solar Panel business is. Now, Sun Power, you could see in this diagram, is their supplier. Why would they be interested in Vijaya Solar Panel? They are asking the reason. To obtain dividend. Now to obtain dividend, it will be Nalin who will be interested. Not Sun Power. So that's not the reason. To get continuous orders. Possible. Why Sun Power is their supplier? So for, for them to make sure that they get constant order from Vijaya Solar Business, they will be very interested in the company. So yes, that's a possible reason. To obtain products at a fair price. Now, for them to source their raw material, Vijay Solar Panel Business will not help in any way. So no, that's not the reason. To ensure the security of the investment. No, Vijay Solar Panel will not ensure the security of Sun Powers Private Limited investment so no that also is not the reason so the correct answer is to get continuous orders from his customer who is vijaya solar panel business so answer is two question number six nowadays most businesses prefer to be operated as an incorporated company than partnership the reason for this is, now please be very careful, you need to read the question with a lot more focus. Now here they are asking an incorporated company, incorporated company versus a partnership. Now we know if it's an incorporated company, there can be two types, it can be limited and it can be unlimited liability as well so be careful they could tap into any feature the reason for this is let's see the reasons distribution of profits now in both there is a distribution of profit just because you become an incorporated company doesn't mean your distribution will differ so let's forget about that division of ownership again 
division of ownership is prevalent in both structures that's not a mandatory reason why people refer or people prefer incorporated company over partnership so no unlimited liability now be careful unlimited liability is available in partnership as well as in incorporated company why incorporated company can be of two types limited or unlimited so again that's also not the reason so 1 2 and 3 is not the correct answer final option given the legal entity yes that's the reason why people prefer incorporated company in a incorporated company the company is given legal recognition and can act as a separate entity in partnership you don't have so here answer is 4 Question number seven: Madagama Multi-Purpose Cooperative Society Limited is a blank sector, blank organization. Select the answer that shows the correct terms to the places one and two in the above statement, respectively. Now they are given A as either public or private. Now. For it to be a public sector, you have to come under the government. It should be a government entity or a government-owned entity. Now, this is a cooperative society, so no, it cannot be a public sector entity. So definitely, it's a private sector entity. So that itself should tell you out of the four options given, option three and option four are out. Now we have to select between one and two. Now in the second space, let me go up. So in the second space, they are asking, what's the intention of the company? Is it for profit or is it not for profit? Now this is a cooperative society. Now this is a cooperative society. This is not a company. So they are established for the welfare and the well-being of their members. So they are. the intention of the organization is not for profit profit is not the intention so correct answer is answer 2 private sector and not for profit organization in transaction of checks the commercial bank always is the drawer drawee payee or the endorser now i have done a smaller short video explaining these three terms you could refer that as well there we know always the bank is the drawee the bank gets the instructions from the current account holder or the drawer to make the payment for the payee so drawee is always the bank So here answer is answer two. Following are some facilities provided by a commercial bank, providing bank overdrafts, paying interest for deposit, implementing standing orders, paying through checks. From the above, the facilities that only a current account holder can receive are. Now, if you are a current account holder. you get a check book that's a unique feature and then you have the chance to od your account to you know get a overdraft those two are the salient features and of course you are not entitled to a interest not entitled to interest by this is not a savings account So having that in mind let's go through the facilities again providing bank overdraft yes that is available for a current account holder paying interest for deposit no they don't get interest implementing standing orders now that's available irrespective of the account even for savings even for account current account you could give but here they are asking only for a current account so the facility you give has to be exclusive should be only for a current account holder so standing order is also not the option paying through checks yes that is a facility that you give only for current account holders 
So here the correct answer is A and D which is given in option 2. So here the correct answer is option 2. Final question, question number 10. Some communication modes and methods are given in the following table. So they have given the communication modes and the communication methods. You have to make sure what mode is the correct mode for the communication method. Now here when you verbally speak, you speak verbally at a meeting. So here the correct answer should be C. Written. It's a written message not passed through any electronic method. It should be purely written. So here out of the four options here, meeting is done. Out of four op options, fax and telephone and notice board. Of course, notice board is the written mode. So here you have D. Then you have electronic verbal, electronic written. In electronic verbal, you again speak verbally but through an electronic mode. So out of A and B, you speak through telephone and that is an electronic method. So here answer becomes B. Finally, electronic written is fax message. It's a written message which is passed through an electronic mode. So the correct answer is C, D, B, A which is answer 4. Now let's say you are un at the exam you are unable to reconcile this or find the correct mode or maybe you have only found 2 but still you want to know what's the correct answer. Use the elimination method. Now here we initially instantly found that for verbal C is the correct answer. Correct? For verbal the communication method should be meeting. So out of the 4 options given you know uh, 1 can't be correct, 2 can't be correct. So it's either 3 or 4. C is given. Second has to be D. Again they have repeated the same to the fourth one as well. Now between the third and the fourth one where they have tricked you is between A, B and B, A. So if you are able to sort that confusion out, you could easily find your answer through this elimination method. I always urge you to use that elimination method if in case you are confused or if you have forgotten a certain area. But if you are knowledgeable enough, please follow that, trust on your theory and go ahead and mark the correct answer. So with that, we will finish off this video. We will meet again in another video discussing the rest of the questions. Thank you so much for listening in. Subscribe to Learning Business for more videos.